You guys hear me talk about resistance. And in one of the darkest times of my life, I knew about energy work. I knew about energy work, I knew about manifestation, law of attraction. I had been getting into Samadhi. I was in like a dark night of the soul, like kind of depression. <laughs> Nothing was going well. It was like I was a magnet for bad things. And I started noticing the sky and how beautiful it was. So when I tell you to be present and appreciate the things around you and find beauty in everything, even finding beauty on how the icing is on a cupcake, because you're being present, you're appreciating something and you're feeling gratitude for a minute and it releases resistance so that things can flow to you. I had been trying to find jobs and I just wasn't finding anything that I really liked and um, or that would work for me financially. It was not going to be enough to cover my bills and so I was just really discouraged and really depressed and I felt more alone than I've ever felt in my entire life. I mean, I got so stressed out, I would have panic attacks and literally had one in the left lane on a highway and like started passing out and that was the strongest moment I think I've ever had because we were going what, like 80 miles an hour and I started passing out. And in the middle of my panic attack, I started screaming at myself, like, don't you dare, don't you dare pass out right now. Like, I am not going out like this. And I forced myself to calm down because I knew I was going to die. If I passed out, I was dead. So there was one day I was outside I was trying to pretend I had the things that I wanted. I was trying to brainwash myself and it wasn't working because I was so bummed out and I was just miserable. And I was trying and trying and trying and you know, those things are trying to come to you and they're hitting a wall. And for a second, the sky caught my attention and I'll never forget it. It was the way that the pink, purple and blue were going into each other. It looks like cotton candy. I'm getting warm talking about it. And it was just so beautiful and it made me feel like there was hope, like there was something to live for. Like there's something more than what you can see. I can't really put that feeling into words for you. <clears throat> but it's not just like, oh, it's going to be okay. It's like, no, I was put here for a reason. My life has a purpose. And just the sky getting my attention for a minute lifted resistance and everything I needed came to me. The job that I needed, they found me. They found me. And I was able to start bailing myself out of debt. I, I enhanced my skills tenfold. I learned how to trust people. I learned how to be a leader. That job is the reason that I'm good at what I do now. I still have that job because the people, those people, <clears throat> we are meant to be in each other's lives. We are meant to, we just have this same kind of life mission in a sense. I worked with, I work with, all women and deal with women all day <laughs> and that can get dicey 
And at first everyone was scared of me because I had come out of a life insurance company and I was taught to be a shark. Not that I ever stopped being a shark, but I learned how to like play nice with others and not bite them. So they were kind of scared of me because I make scary faces. Not on purpose. And um, they accepted me. I know like they probably think I'm a bitch, but like we all worked together. Like at the end of the day, yes, we were competitive. But when my boyfriend wanted to break up with me because I had been so bummed out and depressed and I literally had insomnia for two days straight. First girl that walked in the break room saw me and was like, oh my God, are you okay? And I like started crying and she just hugged me. We're not friends, we're not close. But they took care of me, all of them, like all of them took care of me. And I found myself going to bat for them. Even though we're not super close, I still would. It was like a family, it was like a family, more so than anything. And my bosses, they're the most <laughs> inspiring women I've ever encountered in my life. And they taught me how to be a leader. They taught me how to look out for others and bring other people up. This job that saved me was able to come through to me because for a minute, I got sucked into how beautiful the sky was. Everything that you want is just around the corner. You want it, the universe wants to deliver it, but your mind blocks your soul. Start noticing the beauty in everything and you're gonna see your life turn around.